Hi, this is Signal Sound Studio Tutorials. My name is Jesper, and today we're gonna talk about what's new with Max for Life in Ableton 10 and what updates they did. So, in this video, I'm not showing you what they can do, but more which uh, new things there are. Uh, of course, I'm gonna mingle around with it a little, but not in depth. So, without further ado, let's jump over to Ableton and see what it is. So, if you see to your left, there's a new thing called Collection. And that's where you can assign different plugins, uh, WAV files or whatever. I called one Max 10. This is what I found that they did some new stuff with. Uh, and you can correct me if I'm wrong uh, and I'm missing out some of the plugins uh, that's totally fine but the first thing is Convolution Reverb Pro and let's take a look at it you can see the colors are different and you can do like uh, position uh, like modulation uh, damping and shape and EQ and uh, there's a lot of different um, IRs um, underneath I don't know if they're new uh, or if they just redid uh, the whole thing the next one is convolution reverb just the regular one you can't do that much you have an uh, EQ and that's it uh, and then you have your uh, reverbs or IR um, so but this is a good one if you're not doing a lot of what can you call it uh, modulation or control then we have DS uh, then we have Clang We have this is a cool one, DSFM. stuff then we have hi-hats with white uh, noise and pink noise yep kick it's pretty cool shows you which key, which key you are in. And the sampler, you can load in your own sampling and fiddle around with it. Uh, it's pretty cool, but I use um, 
the uh, sampler or something else in in uh, Ableton. Snare. Tom. Then we have the, we can load in the tom and then the envelope follower and that's an uh, audio uh, effect. So you can see the audio goes in but it doesn't make any effect so we can, let's say, let's try pitch. So hard I press. It's pretty cool. And then we have the envelope, and that's a MIDI. Let's map that to pitch. You do a lot of crazy stuff with it. And it's for, you can see envelope follow, envelope, uh, LFO and Shaper has this little button that's new and this is totally brilliant because now we can map something like bend and we can say and you can do that uh, a lot of times so this is a great new feature that's in here. Expression control is cool. That's a MIDI as well. Uh, so you can control um, velocity, mod wheel, pitch bend, after touch, key track on which ones you like. So if I want velocity on pitch, so this is a great way if you just want to modulate mod wheel with something. Uh, IRM measurement is only audio so this you can see uh, true sound. LFO tool it's the same it's brand new uh, design but there's pretty much the same as the old one only that you can map more multiple at the same time. Mango filter. It delays it. So uh, let's say we can. A lot of crazy stuff you can do with this. MIDI monitor is just uh, so you can see which chords you are playing. Or you can press follow. It's it's uh, almost the same as uh, the MIDI uh, monitor from Nine, but you just have uh, the keyboard and you can see uh, the velocity, you can see the note, the root note and the chord. Note echo. That's MIDI as well. It's pretty cool. And Shaper is cool as well. And that's the same with this button again. 
and let's say we want this to be pitched So, this was a quick uh, run through which uh, new updates to Live 10 comes with uh, Max for Live. Uh, I hope uh, you got something out of it. Um, so, if you liked it, please hit like and please subscribe. See you next time. Bye.